Hey guys, today we are going to understand what is Euler angle representation. So first of all, we will see that what they are used for. So Euler angle uh, describes the orientation of a rigid body with respect to a fixed reference frame. That is the orientation of a rigid body described by them with respect to a fixed, re fixed reference frame. And there are many different types of Euler angle representations. And the Euler angles are given by phi, theta and xi. And the three most widely used uh, Euler angles are shown below. So let me write each one of them for you. That is first of all we have the Euler angles. And they are known as system 1. That is this is the system 1. This is Euler angle system 2. And this will be the Euler angle system 3. So first of all we will write the sequence of rotations that we will be doing. That is first of all we will rotate the OZ axis by phi. That is the OZ axis will be rotated by an angle phi. Now similarly we will be rotating the OU axis by an angle theta. That is theta angle rotation about OU axis. Then lastly we will be rotating uh, rotating the OW axis by phi by xi sorry xi about ow axis and then in the second system we will be rotating the oz axis by phi that is everything will, will remain the same as compared to the system one the only difference will be that now instead of ou we will be using the ov axis i will be explaining what is oz ov and ow axis so first of all now lastly we will write xi will be rotated about the ow axis then lastly we will have xi rotation about the ox axis and theta about oy axis this uh, system 3 is completely different from system 1 and system 2 and now we have phi about OZ axis that is the OZ axis will be rotated by phi angle in system 3 we have three uh, keywords that is roll pitch and yaw so first of all we will be discussing the system 1 now in system 1 we have rotation of phi angle about the OZ axis And secondly, we have the rotation of theta angle about the OU axis. Now OU axis is similar to the X axis and OZ will be similar to Z only as it is as the name suggests. And lastly, we have a rotation of Xi angle about the ow axis now the matrix representation of ow axis will be same as that of z that is you will be able to understand it when i write the matrices that is this is the overall matrix now let me first write this matrix that is for one when we are rotating oz axis by an angle phi so we will write over here cos phi minus sin phi sin phi cos phi zero zero one now secondly we will write the rotation of angle theta about the ou axis so now for the ou axis we will be donating and donating the uh, uh, matrix uh, with respect to the x axis that is the matrix that we will be writing will be same as the rotation about the x axis that is we will write cos theta over here minus sin theta sin theta cos theta now similarly we will be writing the third matrix that is for OW and for OW the matrix will be same as that of the Z axis that is the one we use for the Z axis that is this one so we will be writing cos xi minus sin xi sin xi cos xi 0 0 1 0 0 now on solving this you will get the final matrix as cos phi cos xi minus sin theta 
cos sin phi sorry sin phi cos theta sin xi minus cos theta cos phi sorry cos phi sin xi minus sin phi cos theta cos xi sin phi sin theta then in the second row you will have sin phi cos xi plus cos phi cos theta sin xi then you will have minus sin phi sin xi plus cos phi cos theta cos xi and over here you will have minus cos phi minus cos phi sin theta and lastly we will have sin theta sin phi and sin theta cos xi then we will have cos theta so this is our final unit uh, euler angle representation for system one that is this is for system one now we will be drawing for system two now as discussed earlier there is only a slight change in system one and system two here everything is same that is we will rotate again rotate oz axis about the angle phi now over here instead of u o u we will be using o v and o w will remain the same so now let us write the rotations that we will be using that is first of all we will rotate rotation of angle phi about the o z axis then secondly we will have rotation of theta angle about the o v axis and lastly we will have the rotation of angle xi about the o w axis now this is same as z axis representation and this matrix will also be same as the z axis representation now the only difference here will be that now o v will be represented by the uh, matrix of y that is the matrix that we use for rotation about the y axis and earlier we had used o u and for that we had used the x matrix but now over here we will be using the y matrix so this is the only difference so now let me write the matrices for you that is we will write r phi theta xi is equal to r z phi r u just a minute r u <coughs> r v theta sorry r v theta and r w xi so now we will be writing the matrices for them that is first of all we will write the matrix for z that is cos phi minus sin phi sin phi cos phi 0 0 1 0 0 now for this we will be using the y rotational matrix that is cos theta 0 sin theta 0 1 0 minus sin theta 0 cos theta and for this we will be using the z, uh, z rotational matrix as discussed earlier that is cos xi minus sin xi sin xi cos xi 0 0 1 0 0 now on multiplication we will get the final matrix as cos phi cos theta cos xi minus sin phi sin xi minus cos phi cos theta sin xi minus sin phi cos xi and here we will get cos phi sin theta now in the second row we will have sin xi sin phi cos theta cos xi plus cos phi sin xi and over here we will have sin minus sin phi cos theta sin xi plus cos phi cos xi and here we will have sin phi sin theta now lastly we will have minus sin theta cos xi and here we will have sin theta sin xi and this is cos theta so this is the Euler angle representation for system 2. So now I will just explain the uh, third system in this. This third system is not very important. The first two are very important. And you should know them that how you have to find out this matrix. You need not learn this matrix, the final matrix, because you can easily get them by 
multiplying these three matrices so you should know that these three matrices you have to learn these three matrices so on multiplication you can easily get the final matrix so now in system 3 what we discuss let us see we discuss that we have to rotate ox axis by xi angle the oy axis by theta angle and the oz axis by phi angle so it is quite simple uh, as we will be using the same notation for x y and z as discussed earlier that is the rotation of phi angle will be about ox axis that is the matrix that you will be using for rotation will be that of x only now secondly we have rotation of oy axis rotation of theta angle about the oy axis so the angle of rotation here you will use will be of y only and the third one is of rotation of phi angle about the oz axis and the rotation angle uh, matrix of rotation you will be using of z only now you must remember that i said three uh, keywords that we will be using that is roll pitch and yay so let us assign these keywords to each of these uh, rotations that is for x we have yay or yaw whatever you may like to call it and then we have for y we have pitch and for z we have roll so these are the keywords that we will be using let me explain it to you using a diagram that is this is the coordinate axis and this is the y axis this is the z axis this is the x axis and for x we have xi and it is yaw or yay whatever you may like to call it this is the angle of rotation and for pitch we have y which will be rotated by an angle theta and for x we have roll which is given by the angle phi or rotated by the angle phi so now we will be writing the matrices that is r phi theta and xi that is r z phi r y theta and r x xi so on writing these matrices you will get cos phi minus sin phi sin phi cos phi 0 0 1 0 0 now for y we will be writing cos theta 0 sin theta 0 1 0 0 minus sin theta cos theta and for y x we will be writing sorry for x we will be writing 1 0 0 0 0 cos xi minus sin xi sin xi cos xi so on multiplying as i have explained earlier that you simply have to use matrix multiplication and you will get the final matrix so i won't be finding out this matrix you will have to find this out by yourself and if you are able to find out write done in the comment section and i will it will be great to know that you were able to do it so this will be the matrix for system three so these are the three euler angle systems that we will be discussing and these are the three most important euler angle systems that will be asked in your exam so first two are very important the third one isn't that important so you can leave it if you want but the first two are very important so if you were able to understand this video and it was helpful to you just write wow in the comment section and it would be great to know that you were able to understand it so this is it for this video see you in the next one